All right, so the ISP has told us that uh, they've given us another static IP and they gave me the information and I believe the VLAN tag they gave me or the VLAN information they gave me is incorrect. So I want to verify that using the good old link runner. So I just plug it in, let it rip. I haven't configured anything at all. It, it should hear or see the tag and report it because they told me it was 1024 and I don't think that's correct. Unfortunately, it's after hours. They're gone and I've emailed them already, but I'm not expecting to hear back from them till tomorrow. And unfortunately, I'm here right now. So let's see what this little guy can tell us. Come on, little guy. So we're using the default wired profile and right there, 1023. 1023, not 1024. Thanks, guys. So now I'm going to configure my link runner with that VLAN ID and the static IP information they gave them, and I will resume the recording and see if that works. Just to show you in the link runner, it's not a link runner sales pitch or anything, but um, this is the default profile. If I click on VLAN, it says VLAN ID, and I'm going to change that to 1023. And then I'm also going to change the IP address and the subnet mask and all that stuff. And I'll show you what happens when I start that test. All right, so I've configured everything in there. I'm going to hit start test. So now I have the proper uh, VLAN ID, not the improper one they gave me. I've got the static IP in there as well. And yeah, looks good so far. Look at that. Got all the way to Google. Yep. Life is good. It was that simple. So I didn't have to drag out my laptop. Some laptops don't even support VLAN IDs or tags on the NIC. So this is the easiest way to do it. There you go, guys. Right tool for the right job.